Hey, what it do, what it do, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this amazing trading concept that is definitely going to turn you into a profitable forex trader, right? So, do smash on that like button for me as it motivates me to continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys, right? And please note that I do not sell anything in the forex trading space. I do not offer any investment packages, right? I try to help out for free as much as I can. And speaking of helping out for free as much as I can, I'm currently giving away my forex trading strategy the one that changed my life for free right you can check it out and go over to my telegram group the the link of my telegram group will be in this video's description right and today's video sponsor is triple afx one of the best brokers you could ever find out there i'm currently using them so that is why i'm recommending them to you because of the past good experience i've been having with them you can check them out by signing up using the link that is in this video's description without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so first things first right let us just look at you you can clearly see that we had this long term right we had this long term very structure there and then we sort of like had what and then we sort of like had this short term bullish structure right sorry about that and then we sort of like had this short term bullish structure right let's just do that right and then we had this short term bullish structure right so for any typical price action trader, right, I'm sure that they would have drawn their trend line prefer on this uh, on this short term bullish structure. I'm sure that they would have sort of like drawn their trend line preferably somehow like this. Something like this, right? Preferably something like this, right? And then you, you would have seen here that this, let us just do our replay tool there, right? And then you can simply, you can see that this is, you know, just a simple trend line, nothing complicated, right? And then here, you can see that here on this touch, or on the touch of our trend line, we then had our what? We then had our bullish engulfing kindly stick pattern, right? On this bullish structure, we then had our what? We then had our bullish engulfing kindly stick pattern. Preferably a typical trader will then do what? Will then buy on this touch there and then you know take whatever they want to take but let us just quickly look at at what happened when you, you when you would have, uh, sort of like bought on that support right there right so you can see that you would have definitely uh, gotten what you would have definitely gotten stopped out you would have definitely gotten stopped out so now you prefer you, you're asking yourself that bro this was a nice trend line we had ourselves a, a, a nice bullish and gulfing candlestick pattern and this is like a higher time frame this is like a 12 hour time frame and 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 we remember you traders been saying that they had the time frame they had the accuracy but what happened there right so let us just look at our trend line here let us just look at our trend line there right so first we can see that we've gotten our first touch there which is cool right We've, we've gotten our heart we've gotten our first touch there which is cool right just fix that just fix that right we've gotten our first touch there and now on this touch you can clearly see that the trend line was forced right on this touch you can clearly see that the trend line was forced but remember that i said that if you want accurate trend lines what is it that you have to do the week right your trend line have to be at the week of your what of your candlestick meaning now that this trend line was supposed to be where at the end of my week day right meaning now that this trend line was supposed to be where at the end of my week day right so let us just put this trend line at the end of my week and then see at what would have happened right let's put this trend line and you can see now that this trend line is at the end of my what this trend line is at the end of my week there right so let us just see at what would have happened when we would have bought there right so you can clearly see that most definitely we wouldn't have bought here right because where well, this was our let's just do that right you can clearly see that we wouldn't have bought here why because price wouldn't have touched our support right so i'm just trying to show you guys that these silly mistakes that you keep on avoiding these are the same 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 mistake that make you to take wrong entries that make you to take entries that lead you into getting stopped out right so by fixing just this simple thing put your trend lines on the end of the week do not do something like this right 
just just because price is not uh, uh just because price hasn't reached your trend right you need to be patient right so do not do something like this guys please like just try to avoid something like this these are forced trend lines right these are forced trend lines your trend line has have to be what at the end of the week right end of the week not at the end of the body right also here where is the where is my week there there is my week there right at the end of the week the first touch and second touch i have i i, I have to try and, and emphasize on that one because the third touch can the third touch is most likely uh can be not perfect like mm. you can sort of like get a little bit of uh, you can sort of like get a li little bit of breakouts and stuff like that just like we did on this third touch but the first and second touch of your trend line has to be at the end of the week right so now you can clearly see that you you wouldn't have bought there right you would have avoided this false signal by doing what by just putting your trend line at the end of the week so okay so now we hear you trade has been putting a trend uh, uh, your trend line at the end of the week is there really any other mistake that uh, uh that would have probably gotten me stopped out on this uh, on this trade right so let us um let, let us uh put back our trend line there right this was the trend line that we, we had done as you can see a beautiful trend line the touch and stuff like that right and these small mistakes they are not that much clearly visible right so now another mistake that was done on this trend line is for me though for me though because i do not know how a lot of traders uh, uh, uh trade but i use what works for me and what i've been tested over the last couple of years right so another mistake that it was made on this trend line is the fact that bro remember that i always say the first and second touch of your trend line has to be on the two previous lower highs that is if you want to do it that is if you want to buy right so let us just uh let us just draw our higher highs and lower highs right and then let us then try and spot our two previous lower lows right the first and second uh, uh the first and second touch of your trend line has to be from the two previous higher lows that is if you want to buy sorry if i made a mistake right the first and second touch of your trend line has to be on the two previous higher lows that is if you want to buy and then your third touch that is where you must anticipate to watch your entry right so now you can see let us just draw let us just draw higher low higher high higher low there right and higher high there now let us start our trend line afresh right so let us say that we are wanting to enter there right where is the two where are my two previous higher lows the first and second uh touch of of my trend line has to be where on the two previous higher lows so that means now that i'm going to put the first touch on my two previous higher lows and the second touch on my on my second higher low right the first touch there right and then my third touch there right let's just try and throw that properly right beautiful right you can see that the first two touches of my trend line are on the two previous higher lows let, let us also remove that right so now the first two touches of my trend lines are on the two previous higher lows and the first and second touch of my trend line right they they, they are uh, uh, they are at the end of the week you can see that this is the end of the week they are not forced this is the end of the what this is the end of the week right so now let us see if we would have taken our entry and again no we wouldn't have taken our entry because price wouldn't have given us our third touch so this means now that we wouldn't have got gotten stopped out on this bullish and gaffing king's pattern because we wouldn't have taken our entry we wouldn't have taken a buy order day right so let us just play our tool and look at what happened next right instead we, we would have taken a what instead we would have taken a sell at this breakout preferably right 
instead maybe we would have tried to take what to take a sell because price didn't reach it was when price gave me my third touch on my trend line right there it just broke out of the trend line right right and then your take profit would have been what and then your take profit would have been hit just like that so this means now that if you would have fixed these two mistakes of not for forcing your trend line and these two mistakes of putting or uh, uh, of starting or uh, uh, of putting uh your trend line on the two previous silos that is if you want to buy right bro you would have definitely avoid getting stopped out there just to elaborate more on this concept of trying to put your trend line on the two previous silos so but l let us just say that we want to sell right let us just say that we want to sell right and price is moving through so far uh, lower lows lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs or let us low let me just remove this right price let us say that price is moving through so far lower lows lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows and so on and so forth right you can see here that let us say that we want to do it. let us say that we want to buy maybe here let us say that we, we we are looking to sell there, right? Excuse me for that, right? So now, that means now that where are my two previous lower highs? My two previous lower highs are here. So that means now that I'm going to start my trend line where? Here. Not there. Not there. I'm not going to skip any higher low. I'm going to start my trend line from the two previous higher lows, right? And then I wait for price to do to come there and then I sell, right? So basically, I would have avoided getting stopped out by just following out this simple trading method of mine that I always use. This is like literally how I throw my trend lines and stuff like that. I do not throw first trend lines. I always make sure that the first and second touch of my trend line is at the end of the week. And I always make sure that I start my trend line from the two previous higher lows. That is if I want to buy and if I want to sell, I always make sure that I start my trend line from the two previous lower highs. Right. So that's it for this video, guys. You can get my strategy right by joining my Telegram group. The link will be in this video's description. See you in the next one. Kukuru.